Why hello there, and welcome to my YouTube channel, and I will be your host, Timely. So, one of my viewers has been asking me to do a guide for allies, and there's not really much to talk about, but I can definitely help you guys out on with your allies and stuff, especially if you're a casual spender, or if you're re-rolling characters and stuff, and like what allies to get, and which ones are best suited for you. So, I'm gonna help you guys out, so let's get started. So let's go over my allies. I'll show you guys my collection so far. It's nothing impressive, but I really did try. Like, it's really hard because the rates are so bad. So if you look at the rates here, it says that the drop rates are like 1.5%. So that's probably like an like a six-star ally for like every like 40 to 100 pulls. So like, don't get your hopes up. Like if you spend like, I don't know, like $100 doing this because... Like, there's a chance that you won't get a 6-star ally spending $100. So, th that's how bad the rates are. So, don't don't let that crush your morale. Like, there's ways that you can get 6-star allies and just let them come to you naturally, okay? So, don't feel discouraged. It is gacha, and gacha is definitely a trap. And this is, like, the one element in this game that kind of has its downfall, in my opinion. So now that we know the rates and stuff, and we all know that the rates are fucking doo-doo, and they basically shit on you, and it's awful. <laughs> but yeah, I've had really bad luck. I've actually tried rolling for, I've actually tried rolling for an Aerie. I, sp I dropped around like at least $500 trying to get Aerie, and like that did not work out as I wanted it to, and I kept on either getting like duplicates of six stars I already have or just kept on getting five stars and yeah it kind of hurts to think about it so I kind of gave up on that so <laughs> that kind of leads into uh my next little segment in here and like what allies are good for you and for gunslinger it's airy of course if you're a gunslinger you're gonna want airy if you're re-rolling your character to make a gunslinger you want to roll for airy her passive gives I think at least 10% crit damage and when you level up her passive to level 2 I think it is like a 15% crit damage boost which is extremely powerful with the passive alone you get from your deep deep talent you can get up to 170% and then with airy you can boost that up to 185% which is extremely valuable extremely valuable so in my case I wasn't very lucky when I was going for airy but that's okay, because I have alternatives that I can use. So if we see what I have now, I'm actually using a party Johan. And since I don't have an Airy, what are my alternatives? So I do, I want to do a lot of damage and I want to, you know, have a reliable source of DPS. So I feel like party Johan was the heaviest hitting ally that was actually very cheap to obtain because he's an event ally and you can straight up buy him guaranteed in the store if you go to the store mall and then you go to the on sale you can pretty much get any of the party characters guaranteed like kind of like a ticket to choose who you want and it's only for like 1600 1680 coupons which is extremely valuable especially since you can spend hundreds of dollars you know on gotcha and with the extremely low rates of 1.5%, you could literally get like one or two six stars and like the rest five stars. So this is extremely valuable. If you're a casual spender, you're definitely gonna wanna get the all supply party. And if they do this kind of thing for every banner that comes out where they just um, give you a guaranteed ally six star with a fixed price of 1,680 coupons, it's definitely a steal, especially for people who are trying to unlock their their fourth slot and locking that fourth slot is very very hard and there's some tips that you can do to get there so the all support ally whatever it's called in the store here is one way to get there by adding like a couple new party members and whatnot okay and then the other way is going to the recruit and then if you do the first 10 streak you get must drop a five star which is the party zero so you can add her to your collection as well to help you get to that 35 benchmark and then if that if that doesn't get you there you after 
you know, doing a whole bunch of gotcha pulls and shit, and you're really desperate for that 35, 35th ally, and you're having the worst RNG ever, then, like, this is, like, the last resort. And if you go to the mall, you go to the pawn shop, you can pretty much buy literally all the four star, five stars that you don't have yet. Which, like, this guy right here, Tachibana, and, like, you know, Koshi and Shavi or like were five stars that I didn't have before and that I could buy them pretty cheaply too after doing like a good 40 pulls you know what I'm saying so I highly recommend you know taking advantage of this party event to get you that 35 marker and also going and also uh, getting what you need in my case I need Johan because he puts out extremely good damage 339k on his Moses and 311k on his EX fire, which is very valuable for me, especially since when I'm doing my burst damage um, with all my attacks at once, it has a very has a, has a very higher, a lot higher proc rate to actually see my pets and my allies come out during that small time frame. So I'm gonna have my party Johan in a main slot so I can see him more often. Yeah, keep that in mind. Your main slot and your center has a higher proc rate than all your other allies, so that's also good to know. So if you're re-rolling your characters and whatnot, you want to go, want to know who to go for and what they do, you could always go to the gallery here and you could always see what they do. So this is Party Airy here and you can see she has the word death. Oh, not Party Airy, regular Airy. So increases crit damage and if you still can't tell by the shadows of what they look like, you could all you could go over to their name tag and it's, it has their, their literal name like right here. So Gunslinger party uh Gunslinger is definitely Airy Usigi, okay? She is for gunslingers, okay? Um No No is good for Blade Masters. She increases AP and AP percent cuz Blade Masters have innately high AP. And then if we go further, we have Mingzi Lu, which is extremely good for assassins because he has a very good uh, passive for them which increases multi-strike and multi-strike percent for assassins and assassins have very innately high multi-strike and um also be wary of uh, the diminishing returns on multi-strike so if you have 30k multi-strike that's probably a 30 percent um proc rate on your multi-strike and you'd have to bring your multi-strike all the way up to 50k to actually uh, 50 to 60k to actually see that 40 percent multi-strike and i think um, Mingzi Lu is a great ally to actually get you to that threshold so you can see your earthquake more often. And then for, uh, for, what's it called? Soul Dancers. You could always use a, the Anjo, which I think is pretty good for a Soul Dancer because he increases CDR and CDR percent, and CDR is very good for increasing the strength of your heals, and he has a really cool EX times zero, which has a great CC. So, and soul dancers are pretty much known for their time stop too. So just adding that time, extra time stop, like it's a very cool like uh, addition for a soul dancer. And he does uh, he increases your CDR as well. It doesn't really say how much though. I can tell you because I have him. So mine increases the CDR by 4,644. 4, so that's pretty good. So. Once he increases your CDR, the strength of your heals are boosted, so Anjo is a great pick for a Soul Dancer. If you're going to re-roll um, tunes or characters and try to go for char uh, for good allies, um, these are four of the allies that I think uh, are good for these four classes, and if you don't have them, you could always switch it up and go for you know allies that do other things too really up to you it's it comes down it really comes down to preference and since i don't have area i'm using my party johan so gotta use what you got you know now for the uh the whalers and the people who spend money and the casual spender well the whales aren't are just going to typically just hit that spawn button until they get what they want but for the casual spenders i think it's very important to actually know how to get secret commands okay so if we go to the on sale, fuck you. Oh my God, what is this shit? I can't even press any buttons because there's a banner up here. Jesus Christ. Okay, moving forward. 
So I already told you about the all supply party. Now there's other stuff too that to help you get your allies. And the reason why I think it's very valuable is the mix upgrade pack one, you get 20 secret commands per purchase. So I can buy it twice for a total of 40 secret commands and you get a whole bunch of amethyst potions. You get a whole bunch of uh, gear enhancement materials. You get a lot of stuff that you could use to, to you know strengthen your character in other fields as well so you're not just pouring your coupons into only one thing you're pouring your coupons in like all sections of your character all right so i think that's the best way to get the most bang for your buck okay and if the 40 secret commands aren't good enough for you and you want to pull more you could always buy the special offer pack twice no not fucking special offer what the fuck my bad not that I retract that. The <laughs> ally upgrade pack. You buy that twice for another 20 secret commands. Get more amethyst potions and a gold secret key and some gold too. So it's always nice to get other things too. So you're not just doing one thing. You can also spread, um, increase your rating in other fields too to get the most bang for your buck. All right. So that that is pretty much my guide for my ally my allies guide. So my my pretty much my last word is when you're going for this, it can get very expensive. Don't get trapped. The rates are 1.5%, okay? Um you can spend a lot of money and you won't and there's a chance that you won't get anything to show for it because the RNG is actually really bad in this in this area. So I wouldn't really have it as your main priority, just like just something there to do like probably like once a month if you're willing to spend. And that's why I really recommend buying this stuff in the mall because you're getting stuff that you could upgrade other parts of your character instead of just buying all into the gotcha and then getting nothing to show for it. So that is ultimately my guide for the allies and I really hope I helped you guys out. I have to get going now. Peace.